Good to go. Cool. After another welcome to our pre-match press conference ahead of tomorrow's game against Brighton. Usual pre-match, um, usual housekeeping rules apply. Start with the broadcast section, followed the, by the 10.30pm in Bargoed section. No tweeting during the live uh, section and one question with a follow-up. Vinny O'Connor, you on the call? Come to you first, from Sky. Hi, Antonio. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Hey, hey. Good afternoon. Uh, first, of all, yeah. <laughs> first of all, I just wanted to see how satisfied really you were with the business that you were able to do before the transfer deadline, but also how you also feel that a deal for Luis Diaz ultimately didn't happen with him moving to Liverpool. But, uh, about uh, the transfer, uh, the transfer market, I think uh, the club tried to uh, tried to to do uh, the best, and uh, you know very well that in January is not easy, it's not simple, and um, um, yeah, I think uh, I think the club uh, tried to do the uh, the best. It's not. It's not. I repeat. It's not simple. And then to sign player, and you need also to to have the availability of the of the players, and uh, you don't have a lot uh, of uh, options. Um, that's it. At the same time, Antonio, as well. Obviously, Steve Hitchin has resigned as director of technical performance. I just wonder what that impact. What impact that has on you as a whole moving forward. Yeah, but uh, uh, with Steve, uh, I, I had a good, a good relationship, and um, for sure. And uh, it's a pity when, uh, when a, a good person, a good man, uh, decided to uh, to resign, no, uh, to resign, and then to. Uh, but at the same time, I think uh, uh, it's important to to respect the decision uh, of. Uh, Every single person, and uh, for me it was good, and uh, I enjoyed the time that uh, we passed together with uh, with Steve. He worked uh, for a long time uh, uh, for this club, and uh, for this reason, and uh, uh, it's right to tell him thanks for his time that he passed, uh, he spent with uh, with uh, with Tottenham, and now. Personally, I wish him uh, uh, good luck for uh, for his career and uh, for uh, for his uh, future. Thanks, Vinny. George Cummins will come to you next. Thanks, Callum. Hello, Antonio. Hi. Uh, I could just wonder if you, could you explain why you let Deli Ali leave? He's a very popular figure. Just wondered if you could explain why why you decided to let Deli Ali join Everton. Yeah, about about Delhi, I think uh, uh, was a good decision for uh, both sides, for the club and for uh, for the player. And uh, I think uh, Delhi needed to have another experience and uh, to to have uh, another challenge challenge in his uh, in his life. And uh, he's a good guy, and uh, for sure, I will. Uh, I want to tell him thanks for the time for the time that. Uh, uh, we work it together, but I think it was good. It was good for for the player. It was good for uh, also for the club uh, to to take this uh, this decision. And uh, good luck to to Delhi and uh, the other players that uh, went on loan in uh, in other teams. On the whole, are you? Happy with the players, the new players you've got, and the players you've let go. Would you say it's been a good transfer window for for you and for Tottenham? Yeah, but I I think that uh, uh, we signed two two uh, new players, and uh, uh, Rodrigo Betancur and uh, Deki uh, Kuluseski. I think these two players are uh, the right prospect uh, for uh, for uh, uh, Tottenham philosophy. Uh, young players, talented players uh, to develop and improve. Uh, and uh, yeah, make them uh, important players in, in the future. But you know very well that uh, you need time to do to do this. But I think for the philosophy of Tottenham is. Uh, uh, 
these are uh, two good signs for uh, for uh, for us. About the players that uh, they went alone and uh, they need to play more games. I think it was right. It was right for uh, both sides, for for the club and also for for the players, and uh, because uh, these players they need to to play more more games. Yeah, for sure, it was strange. It was strange to uh, to send on loan and uh, to sell one player uh, on January transfer. It was strange because it means that maybe. Something uh, wrong happened uh, in uh, in the past, and uh, uh, yeah, it was strange and to send. I repeat, in January, for players uh, to go on loan and one player to to sell. Uh, it means that maybe in the past uh, uh, you have to see what you you did, and uh, maybe to understand that. There was uh, uh, some mistakes in uh, in the past because I repeat, usually you have to buy player to reinforce your team. But uh, in the last few years, and then uh, if you send away on loan players that you who you bought in uh, in the last two three years, it means that maybe uh, something wrong you did in the past. Thanks, George. James Savundra, to you next. Hi, Antonio. You said it was strange that you let so many players leave on loan. Were you expecting to lose that many players? Honestly, when uh, um, be, be, before before to to arrive to Tottenham and uh, uh, to read to read the squad to read the list of the players of the squad and. Uh, you consider the players that uh, you had in the squad and uh, all the players uh, uh, yeah important players no because uh, Dombele, we paid uh, a lot Dombele, and uh, it was the same for Rochelle, so it was the same for for Gilles. And then uh, only when you stay into the situation you understand uh, very well which is the best uh, the best solution for uh, for the club, for the players in this moment, and for for, for sure to lose for players in uh, in January, I repeat, is not normal. Then uh, the decision uh, we share the de- the decision with the club, uh, also uh, with, the, with 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 the players. But um, I repeat, uh, it means that uh, something wrong happened in the past because usually you buy the player to reinforce your team. And not to lose the player after uh, one, two, 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 two years, three years. Yeah, and for this reason, we had to pay more, more attention in the in the future when we go in the uh, in the market and uh, about the choice of the players uh, become uh, a fundamental importance if we want to reinforce the the team. Otherwise, uh, instead of to reinforce the team, uh, you drop uh, the quality of your, of your team. Do you think that your squad is stronger or weaker after this transfer window? And what do you think is possible for this team now this season? I think for sure now we are, we are more complete. The squad is more complete because we covered the, the role that uh, uh, if I happened uh, an injury, uh, I was uh, in uh, great difficulty, I was in trouble. And for sure now is more uh, complete the squad. And... Um, we tried to uh, to fill uh, uh, the right role with the one midfielder Rodrigo Bedancourt and uh, uh, and uh, Deki Kuluseski. Kuluseski he can play as number ten, uh, but also he can play as a as wing back. And I think uh, now we are more complete than uh, than, uh, uh, than than before. And, uh, now it's time to work, to work very hard, uh, to to try to improve. We have to know very well that uh, uh, there are many teams ahead of us and uh, to catch up with them, uh, we need time, patience to work uh, to work hard and especially during the transfer market and uh, you have to <laughs> to, to make uh, uh, 
not 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 uh, not big mistakes because now uh, i repeat um, there are many teams that uh, they started before of us but they stay ahead of us and uh, if we want to to reduce this gap and the mistakes are, uh, must be minimum in every aspect in every aspect and uh, on the pitch outside of the pitch this is my vision this is my my thoughts Hi James Alistair Gold will come to you next Hi there Antonio um, just want to ask you about Kulisevsky and Bentenka um, firstly are they both fit enough to start if you needed to, to tomorrow and, and secondly with Kulisevsky where you, you've mentioned a few positions he can play in where do you see the one he'll play the most for you in? Yeah, but the, the two players uh, the two players uh, are uh, are fit and for this reason tomorrow uh, they are available available for sure uh, to start the game I think it's not it's not right because they need to work with the team for uh, for a period uh, for sure they they can uh, come in to to help us and uh, because I repeat these two players can help us uh, a lot and uh, about uh, Kuluseski, is a is a good player. Uh, he's a very young, and I think uh, he's a great talent. And uh, he, he can play like uh, like number nine if we want to play with the three strikers. Uh, number ten, sorry, with the strikers and uh, two players uh, behind the, the the strikers. But at the same time, I think uh, he has the uh, potentiality to play also and uh, win back. On, uh, on the right, he has good quality. Uh, he's good. Uh, yeah, he likes to to attack. He's good in one v one to uh, to create chances for uh, uh, for the teammates. Yeah, I think uh, a good sign for us. And can I just ask you, one of the players that went out, Brian Hill. Obviously, he was a big signing only six months ago for Tottenham. Did you feel that he just? Maybe wasn't physically ready to get the amount of minutes he needed. Yeah, you know, you know that I like I like to uh, to to tell the truth, and uh, for sure we are talking about uh, a really good player, Gil, because uh, he's uh, uh, he has good quality and uh, he understands football uh, quickly, and uh, in this moment, this moment for sure, this league. Uh, uh, this league is very tough. Is this league is different? If you compare this league with other league, is you play another sport here, and for this reason, when you go to sign a new player to buy a new player, you have to consider many aspects. Not only one aspect. If he shoots well, or if he uh, uh, he make an assist, uh, you have to consider a lot of situation because this league is very difficult. You can be good with quality and uh, you can be a creative player but at the same time you need to be strong physically to run a lot uh, to, to be resilient uh, to uh, uh, <laughs> the impact of this league is not simple it's not simple for this reason the market before to, to sign a player uh, you have to to check many aspects and not to go only for emotional uh, this, uh, this, I think, uh, is very important, and uh, I hope that I transferred my my thoughts uh, to 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 my club because I repeat, I have my vision, and uh, I'm here and to try to help the club uh, to improve. In uh, in the past, in my in my in my experience in the past, uh, I have built good structure, good teams that they have lasted over time. Also without me, eh? also without me. It means that maybe, maybe if uh, I tell something and uh, I have a vision and uh, I see, no, I see the situation. No? And uh, here we need to, to, to build. We need to build and uh, a good structure and, uh, and to create a good, a good foundation. And uh, it will be very important to make mistakes in the, in the future because uh, in this moment, uh, many, 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 uh, teams, I repeat, are ahead of us. 
And for this reason, no, and to, to, to catch up with them, we have to reduce the mistakes. We have to reduce the mistakes, to have a vision and to follow this, uh, this line. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, Alistair. That's all we've got time for in the broadcast section. So now I'll move on to the written section, please. Dave Heine, would you like to start us off? <laughs> 